Hello, my name is Krian and welcome back to my Mass Effect 3 playthrough. Now before we go to the hospital or to the council, let's look around here. And talk to Diana. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. And this is My how the voice actor looks like. My producers want me embedded on human ships, and I like want that ship to be the Why would I want that? for this character. Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Of course, join us. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot longer. Aye, aye, Commander. Hello, Commander Shepard. Hello, Avina. To the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSAC personnel for routine verification. Hmm. What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing of the security stations in each docking area. And I think Citadel those NPCs are technology uses there because of the mods. Authentication systems developed by the Certa Foundation. I guess it's variety. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel sorry. security measures will result in immediate incarceration. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D-24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the Systems Alliance ship, Normandy. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those she who has holographic nipples. arrivals. It is located next to security processing. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. I will later. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Okay. First deployment, your power. Okay, nothing you. I'll leave good messages. What is this? Ah, oh, this is new. Ah, oh, citadel news. And such. You can stop or slow down the video for reading all this if you want to. I'm going to do that way after I finished editing it and rendering. A trance for war. Somewhere your word. My grand feet. Hmm. Wow, 
Wow, we can already access all these. But let's go to the hospital. I don't know who to talk to first, what to listen to. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. What happened to you? It's been six you? months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Indeed. Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I agree. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> News terminal. Ah, I guess it's on every level of the system. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Huerta Memorial Hospital. Do you the have anything new to say here? The officer in charge is Dr. Michel. Also, please note that specialists for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. Where'd the hospital get its name? It is named after President Christopher Huerta of Earth's United North American States. Hmm. You asked that The donor who requested the tribute expressed the desire to remain anonymous. You can really cover treatment for any kind of species here? That's a good Huerta thing. Huerta Memorial surpasses all requirements needed for any multi-species medical facility. This facility's attendant levels can also replicate the living conditions needed to accommodate other, more exotic species. Like the drill. Aquatic environments, for example, are available on short notice. What about the medical staff? How do they deal with so many species? All personnel are required to undergo mandatory and regular psychological evaluations, as well as refresher courses. Hospital administration understands how difficult it can be for staff to deal with such a wide variety of patients. It is imperative they be offered the support needed to retain their current high standards. Thank you. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Or information. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I'm glad and you... I your ear about Major Alenko. Oh, yes. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You me can too. go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. They I hear the be. docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. 
How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Obviously. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in targeted colonies. So no one is talking about anything I should get. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Hi, Kaden. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either. I'm is this the right chances. soundtrack for this moment? Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. His new face textures are Seeing not you matching his again. body. It reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Come on, Kate. Fight. Okay. And that's an order. So we should go to the Presidium now, but let's go to the docks, since it's unlocked early, I guess there might be something new here because of the mods. Yes, same news terminal. In this case, if you Just support the refugee, land. then you I'll lose four assets because the overwhelming the numbers of refugees. So no I have to support the officer, even if it's a renegade choice. Exactly Let's find case. out. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fly. Right. We'll and of course, the Citadel Defense Force gives you more. Look at the guy's left leg, it's bugged, but he's Don't wearing regular clothes. I'll tell them to go. Many people are here mourning me. Most of them are human pictures. Wow. Avina. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. How many people are stranded here? Too many. Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, relocations requests are being given top priority. 
The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. More female Turians, I see. My brothers and sisters. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Oh, I'm not going to buy this. No melee mods. Very shotgun. Oh yes, I want this. Batarian State Arms. Defending the hegemony. that I remembered. I have to look around everywhere because who knows where I find new content. Shepard VI. You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh yeah, the one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Mm. More casual clothes. People. And much more refugees. The entire hegemony destroyed. If you listen to the news, that's concerning. No embassies, purgatory. But no Avina, I guess. Oh, there is Arya. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Sheer. This is a mod here. Counselor. She was originally human, if I recall it correctly. I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. Yes, I'm gonna play that DLC later. How did Cerberus defeat? Because I love it. Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. Obviously. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, 
we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. And you offered them. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've I agree. laid groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You and since don't we are going Bailey there, we will do it. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Look who's here. Let's see this so later. So what's on now. your mind, Shepard? Why come here of all places? I guess I have a secret weakness for repression. Truth is, it's all about access. And the Citadel is well connected. I'll suffer through the nauseating hypocrisy as long as I have to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've you respect her. on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Narl will explain it. No. If we're gonna work together, Shepard, you must need to trust me. At least a little. How do you plan on taking Omega back? By it brute means. force. It's gonna be a hell of a mission, believe me. And you'll be one of my brutes. I'll give you the details when we're ready to go. The elusive man's about to find out what I'm made of. It's going to Too be bad. an He's incredibly not there. cathartic experience. How? The option audio has gone. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Right, big Callista. So I can choose music here. Cora is then closed, so we're choosing that. Terrible. This is a terrible music. Yes, yeah, same news terminal. Still no Avina here. Presidium commons. I want you to talk to me even more. The shopping galleria. Here you will find establishments offering specialized goods and services. For assistance or for information about our special promotion, talk to me or contact the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. What's this promotion you mentioned? 
Producer Jean-Marie Aranisius is donating a portion of all proceeds from her new Blasto movie to the Citadel's military defense fund. Can we um, watch Audio Blasto movies Blasto here? Sticks, partners in crime are now available for your listening pleasure right here on the Presidium. Where can I check this out? To listen to excerpts, simply go to the features hallway and find the Blasto 6 Partners in Crime publicity panel. The place feels familiar. The sounds, the smells. It's like being back on Earth. The current decoration budget was approved by Ambassador Asoba, the human representative for Earth on the Citadel. Each species granted ambassadorial rights on the Citadel can apply for a slot on the decoration schedule to change the promenade and parks below. The only condition is that the proposed environmental features not be toxic to species living on the Citadel. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Overcharging for goods. What a one. I'm not buying Please stuff right now, just checking out. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Unless it's for At Kanala Exports, rifles. A peaceful heart is a strong heart. And SMG ecosystem. I buy that. Because Cerberus Harrier is obviously an assault rifle which needs. Oh wow! Andromeda Initiative. Foreshadowing the future of the playthrough, I guess. These are, of course, because of the mods installed. Krogan. Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. Okay. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! Works. Don't double cross Arya. Don't fuck with Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya. A friendly Batarian. That wasn't expected. Across 
Gideyim is under attack. Hmm. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating units so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The club will be in peril if we do not have suitable. Everything I can do to help you. Welcome to Agor Munitions. This is also a mod, I think. Looks like materials. Agor Munitions for deals you never see coming. Please obey all local government restrictions when purchasing protective equipment. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Ah, I like this one. All Citratine Armory products include a lifetime guarantee for performance. See our extranet site for details. We appreciate your visit. Obviously. I'm spending money here, so... Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Hmm. All licensed huntresses may apply for a professional discount. Shoot smart. Shoot Nosastra. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. Please buy all of the outfits. I see. No, this is not good because I think the texture, texture modes on. I don't know the face. Oh, these are the Lucy Man clothes. Andromeda jacket. Leather jacket. I'm not buying anything of these. Right now, maybe later. Expanded navigation charts. I buy all. Because of the extra content in the game. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Yes, magazine capacity. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Jean Garson. from all purchases go to help our men and Casa women serving in the Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Mm. Apollo Cafe, where Lyra's father is working. Okay, we have looked around here and now for heading to the embassies. I like how the mode links Mass Effect 3 and Andromeda. Even though people are not fond of the Andromeda sequel. But I like it. Hello, Commander. I've already played Welcome Andromeda once and I'm right now playing the it for the second time. Is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the so the playthrough for you to be the third in the Citadel Security District one. Office. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. 
The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? The Spectre Requisitions District Office is down the hallway to your left. And we have to be careful with Note them because if they authorize something that weakens water sets, then we are screwing five. ourselves. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Maybe after the attack on the Citadel by Cerberus, I will. Please tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. about his mission and she has nice clothes so Bailey Shepard what do I owe the pleasure here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris damn you too somebody got the council to order her release I'm delaying as best I can you shouldn't. what's your stake in this what's classified that? That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She may to stay at night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. This is bigger than Sedaris, or you, or me. The Council's orders must be obeyed. No, I hear where you're coming from, but this is cut and dry. I'll tell you what, if you meet her and honestly think she should be released, I'll do it. Go to the C-Sec outpost, and my assistant will connect to Sedaris' cell from there. Then call me back. I will go there later. Ah, this is a new terminal here. I wonder if it's different if I am not a Spectre. Initiative Arc model. Oh, linking Andromeda even more. I like it. Grommer armor. Oh, Grommer. Weapon damage. Shit head. Hmm. Spectre. I see the Spectre version of these weapons. Is they are overpowered. Armor locker. We enter the shooting range just to edit our weapons. What we are doing. I think my death paper shotgun. Oh, they are so heavy. I guess I'm back to the pistols. Let's leave.
the first level of the clip upgrade gave us eight rounds. That's not, that's Commander, not much. Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. Of if course. you follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit by our reports. It? it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. She has a small Earth was attacked protein necklace. by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Leara? Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. The Crucible. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. Should the remnants be of the human music? fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. The Reaper. But they AI ran out of time before they could the finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. And you're of course not helping. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. The Turian remains silent. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. You're Our ugly. people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need. But I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous See, ally in your business. For it. I get We're it. at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. And we can recruit Garus there. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Thank you. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if so they can took support Spectre this summit. Status after arrival DLC. 
Thanks. Unfortunately, we have to talk. To save their lives, and for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of eleven billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans and help contact yourselves. Cybers, of course. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of so quantum entanglers of... spread out over the continents. All nuclear other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Solarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. In Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson results. would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out. I was very surprised when the, the first time I played Arcturus. Mass Effect 3. I must know that I must Dean have known acted like most this. of the Alliance Parliament. It was very unlike basis. him. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Okay, we're gone. Goodbye. I should go. I'll be here. Of course. Wait, the arm, or we can modify that. James. 
Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this because is your first time here. here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Hope it don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. They don't want to believe yeah. because it drags them out of their That's comfort zone. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe. Wait a minute. Map, 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 map. We're gonna check. Everything with the map. It appears it likes to track stuff. Let's talk to Jonah now. Connected with Jonas Sedaris in her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I will. But we need her for Arya's forces. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, oh, oh yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Do you? Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. Defying this order is violating the law. You have to let her out. All right, Shepard. But whatever terror she inflicts out there is on your head. I'll release her today. Sure hope you don't come to regret this. Look at the journal now. Blue Suns. Refugee camp. So that's where we headed. Refugee camp. Then back to Normandy and end of this part.
heli. Hmm. We got blood black eclipse and now we get the blue suns now. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Araka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Araka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify like his that. existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the blue well, sun. they have nice well, clothes, but you know buggy our work. Bodies. You won't have to worry about Araka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Sun's trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and uh, why does he have a buggy model? Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. <laughs> Kelly's here. Or not, maybe this is bugged. Let's start to Oraka now. And I know where Oraka is. News. Now the quarry is about to start to pour with the gas. Andromeda Initiative. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. Oh, you were the... You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Drunk? Yes. Drink. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. 
Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'll get you your weapons, General. I appreciate the effort, I but see. I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. direction Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Credits don't talk with me, Commander. CSEC wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple of artifacts. I should have chosen the renegade option. You know what? Let's kill him. Unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. Excuse me, General. Good to see you again, Shepard. The General won't listen to reason. Take him out. Well, it was worth a try. Mm. And now it's completed. Now we can go back to Normandy finally. But we are not recruiting errors, I guess. If we can, we are doing from ashes next time.
this was the first dream of Better Dreams mod. Much faster than running around uh, after an imaginary kid. And it's a much better, much fitting thing. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? The Reapers are here, now. And the Council, the other races, are only interested in looking after themselves. How many civilians are dying while they wait for us to make the first move? At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. They'll come around. They've got to. They will be forced to. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. Specialist new hairstyle in. trainer. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Obviously. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. But wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, it was obviously Edie, necessary. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. And we have more terminals there. The war room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting Let with the me Council. Let me see in this part. Sounds Lara. like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can. They actually what have about the device? quantum entanglement devices for the Android initiative, but and if you can't, I'll based on the endings of Mass Effect, they were damaged or destroyed, so we that's why the, the Andromeda Initiative can't reach Milky Way Galaxy device. in Mass Effect Andromeda. Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? 
We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Major defeat. Intels. Terra Nova. We saved that while in Bring Down the Sky. And this is where we save. So if you liked it, like and subscribe and all that. See you next time.